Thank you for hanging out with us. I know you got a busy schedule. you got the big show tonight. Right, right. right. Uh, but I do want to get to the Fathead 4. I asked you the Fathead 4, four questions. Uh, oh, last, no! Last time you were here, but it was stuff like just to get to know you. It was like, okay. what's your favorite color? And that, you know, because okay. we didn't know anything about you. Now, let, let's get a little more in depth here. Oh, God. Number one. No math. No, <laughs> there, there is no math, but you're okay. going to have to choose. Okay. Since we've spoken, you've been on Kimmel, Leno, Ellen, Regis, just to name a few. Who's your favorite? Which was your favorite show out of those four? Um, oh, gosh. I have to choose. I've seen you on all of them, by the way. Okay. Well, I was super nervous, but Ellen was maybe my favorite just because I'm such a huge fan. I've been listening to her comedy forever and ever and ever. And, and uh, I think that's why I was so nervous. And we got couch time on that yes. one. Yes. Which was unbelievable and, and she, unexpected. She makes people feel comfortable. So. Yeah. Well, awesome. she's a funny lady. All right. Now, last time you were here, question number two, you said you never stepped into Madison Square Garden, and you were actually going to perform a couple weeks later with Maroon 5. Right, right. What was that experience like? Tell us about it. I cannot even tell you how much I was shaking in my boots. First of all, because my keyboard broke at sound check. <laughs> <laughs> so we set up all of our stuff to get our 20-minute our sound check, which is all we have. Um, and I plug in my keyboard and it won't turn on. And I look down at my power supply, which connects from my keyboard to the, you know, the electricity, and it's all frayed and busted. So as I'm biting back the tears, I'm running backstage. We never got a sound check that night. I basically sent out my two friends to like peruse the city and find a music store close to Madison Square Garden to try to find me a, a different power supply. We had no idea if it was going to work. We basically plugged in and crossed our fingers, and it did work. But I was so freaking nervous <laughs> that it wasn't going to work. I don't even think I remember the whole show. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. I, I have to check and see if you can say freaking on the radio. I'll, I'll oh, let yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, you got us into uh, question number three here with the Madison Square Garden backstage stuff. I was reading on the smokinggun.com. It's this crazy website. It has like 300 stars and their contracts for when they're backstage and what they demand oh. backstage. What is on your concert rider? What do you have to have before a show? I'm going to sound so boring. Well, it's come like on. Microwavable chicken noodle soup. <laughs> <laughs> that is boring. Yeah, I know. Pita and hummus. Okay. Um see, we like a veggie tray, we like a fruit tray. <laughs> You're very healthy. Yeah, right? Um, you know, we like a bottle of Maker's Mark. We'll oh, like wait, back there. look at yeah. you! I know, going crazy. <laughs> um, no, actually, on our very first tour, we were we made up a joke rider. This was our first, well, I guess our second tour with Maroon 5. This was in the UK. And we put a PlayStation and, like, condoms on the rider, <laughs> and it was pretty funny what they ended up leaving in our room. It was it was an apple and a banana, and they just wrote PlayStation on the apple, and they wrote condoms on the banana. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, was, that is funny. They it to us, yeah. All right, question number four. Um, with every guest, I have to look you up on imdb.com, and there's one trivia tidbit on you, uh, mm -hmm. on that site, and it says that a few days ago, like within the week, I think, um, you were doing a show in Michigan. Were you in Michigan? Okay, like yeah. within the week? Okay. Yeah. And it says that you told the crowd that your one dream is to be a character in a Disney movie, to do a voice for a Disney movie? Yeah. If, uh, do you have character voices? Can you do something for us? Who would I, you like to play? I'd like to think that just my, my normal voice was good enough to be a character. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. I'm, I'm talking about like being the aerial voice or the bell voice. of. You want to be Nemo. Is really, I, <laughs> right. That's what you want to be. I could work on a character voice. I could I could try to morph into something for Disney. Gotcha. Yeah. So you want the Sarah Bareilles voice on a character. You want a stuffed animal sold at the Disney store. Not with that's my face on it. It's like a cuter cartoon version. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, you made it through. Good job. Sarah Bareilles here. Uh, love song. We know the big hit. Little Voice is the album. In stores. Everybody go get it. And uh, April 23rd, you're going to be back in the New York area. Yeah. We're going to be giving away tickets for that. What's that show? Where are you going to be? What is that show? We're going to be, oh, we're going to be at Irving Plaza, which I'm so pumped about. We went to, uh, I saw Ben Lee there, and it was sold out. And, and I think it's actually sold out 
wasn't he dating Claire Danes at some point? Yeah, is that he the totally good? was. I like Claire Danes. Isn't she awesome? <laughs> yeah, see? I know. I kind of wish I was her best friend. Broke Down Palace. Uh, it's a good movie. I was, yeah. where the cockroach crawls in that chick's ear. Oh, and that, see, now That's you're disgusting. Gross. That's yeah. it. Well, you didn't have to bring that up. <laughs> yeah, so April 23rd, you'll be back in town. We'll have tickets for that. I mean, did I miss anything? I mean, we pretty much covered it all, right? I think you did a good job. All right. <laughs> you, you've, you've officially made me blush multiple times, so let's, let's wrap it up. <laughs>